What's up, guys? Welcome to Forge Master Metal Reviews. We're trying something new here. We got the set in the back, kind of mm -hmm. doing the full vibe of being in a room together. That's right. Album art is arguably the most important thing for us metalheads. Right before we check out a record, we want to be drawn into it. We even polled you guys, and that's how we know because we have scientific data based on a YouTube poll. So we thought it'd be a really cool series to start talking about album art and paying respects to some of the brilliant artists that are in the metal game right now if you like metal content like this hit the like button it really helps us out more than you guys know to spread this video to new fans this will be an ongoing series it's going to be a lot of fun feel free to drop your favorite metal artists in the comments down below and we'll cover them in a future episode grab your paintbrushes and your palettes folks let's get into the best metal album artists I'm gonna butcher a lot of these names, so I apologize. Giannis Nakos, digital artist from Athens, Greece, known under the Remedy Art handle on Instagram and Facebook. This guy's got some phenomenal artwork. He's done some work for bands like Suffocation, Morbid Angel, Evergrey, The Crown, Oceans of Slumber, awesome, just to name a few. He's won multiple album artwork of the year awards, and for good reason. Very iconic and well-recognized style. You probably know him most from his recent Evergrey and Oceans of Slumber albums, last year. Both of them are absolutely incredible records. He's got a profile on Instagram and also on Facebook. Definitely give him a follow. He has criminally underrated followers for the stuff that he does. Hit him up too if you're looking for this kind of digital art. Berlin-based Eloran Cantor has been putting out some of the most iconic album artwork we've seen in the last couple of years, and this is why he's my first pick for today. Eloran has really created something magical with all of his work. He has such a diverse range of skills while maintaining a very identifiable art style. His list of work includes, just from this year alone, we've got Halloween's self-titled, such a cool looking album, the Arch Spire album, which is coming out in October, Bleed the Future, he did the cover for that, amazing looking, Craven Idol, Forked Tongues, Obscura, A Valediction. And from last year, I guarantee that you saw some of his work on Havoc's V, Cult of Lilith's Mara, Testament's Titans of Creation, Incantations, Sect of Vile Darkness, and My Dying Bride's Ghost of Orion. But it's like, seriously, dude, like who brought the best album art of 2020 to the table? Elorin Cantor did, I hate to say it, hands down. Great stuff from Elorin. You are definitely gonna see his work more and more in the future. Go check out his website down in the link below in the description. Marius Lewandowski, a surreal oil painter from Poland. He's one of the most recognizable and popular metal artists right now, used by many bands in the game and for good reason. His breakout piece, though, from the metal scene to a lot of us was 2017's LP by Bellwitch, Mirror Reaper. Everybody knows this freaking album. Beautiful and otherworldly imagery that show his palette of kind of muted colors and it looks like a nightmarish landscape most of the time. And I would say his iconic trick is massive figures with tiny figures to mm -hmm. show scale, mm -hmm. and it really works. He's fantastic, there's a reason why everybody is using this dude right now. Other recent bands and albums that this guy has worked with, and some of my favorites are Atramentus, the Stygian album, mm -hmm. Psychroptics, As the Kingdom Drowns, Sepulchros, Vazio, unbelievable doom record, Fuming Mouse, The Grand Descent, awesome album, hardcore kids playing death metal, and Atlantean Codexes, The Course of Empire, absolutely astonishing stuff in my opinion though bands are using his artwork a little bit too much but hey it works for marius next on my list is the one and only travis smith travis is easily one of the all-time greats in metal artwork simply due to his enormous and diverse portfolio this guy seriously has one of the most stacked resumes in metal art and has designed some of my favorite albums in album covers since 1995, Travis has created hundreds of masterful pieces of art. This year alone, we will have seen his work in the Demon Townsend live albums. Can't wait for that. Bodum After Midnight's Paint the Sky with Blood EP. Very cool, uh, bloody looking uh, album cover there. The Catan EP. This one's probably my favorite. It has like that urban cyberpunk aesthetic without it being super in your face. The way that the focal point is laid out, the placement of the band logo, just brilliant, brilliant stuff here. Uh, we also have Mother of All's Age of the Solpsis, another super cool and unique piece. It has a very metaphysical feel to it while still remaining creepy as all hell. These are just some of the more recent pieces of work that Travis Smith has done. I could name all of his bands that he's collaborated with, but we would literally be here 
all day. I mean, check out his work. If you are not familiar with his name, guaranteed that you will recognize his stuff. Link is down in the description below. And hey, while you're down there, throw us a like. It really helps us out. Chris Verwimp, a highly underrated and underappreciated album artist that completely nails the aesthetic of every single album that he does. You can tell that Chris spends the time with the lyrics, the atmosphere, the mood of an album before making something that is striking and always freaking hits hard. You know his works from his recent endeavors such as Ceremonial Castings, Salem 1692, which was re-released on Eisenwald Records, unbelievable album. It's a harrowing experience inspired by the Salem Witch Trials, which some of the members of the band are actually family descendants from some of the terrible people. Chris is also well known for the album art of Uada's entire discography, which are some of the most iconic images in recent black metal memory. He just nails that brand of Northwestern American black metal and mysticism perfectly. He also did bands like Mongols Cross from 2020, their third album, Arcana, Scrying and the Revelation. Also a fantastic Australian black and thrash album. The guy's just amazing at what he does. Definitely give him a follow. Link will be in the description. Next up on our list is Kishore Hollenbeek. Kishore is an incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist and artist. He had a very busy year in 2020 with album art doing some spectacular covers for Vacant Eyes, Marrow Fields, Afterbirth, Rannock, and his own band, Black Harvest. I really love what he did with the Marrow Fields cover. And what do you know? I have the Marrow Fields CEO here with me today. Weird. <laughs> I'm not biased. Yeah, right. Actually, piece right here. So this is the Marrowfields album art cover. This is the exact, well, not even print. He literally painted it. Talk a little bit about you, how, what it was like for you to collaborate with Kishore and how you kind of got to this point here. So he made it like literally the easiest thing in the world. I had these like horribly put together demos that I was like, hey man, could you please, you know, put together some imagery based off of the lyrics and what we got recorded. The album is based on Ovidian folklore and there are songs in here called like Crow and Raven. It's about the punishment of mankind of gods and he just nailed it. The album is bleak as fuck. It's probably the most depressing thing I've ever written, and the image definitely speaks to that. So thanks, Kishore, you nailed it. Be sure to check out his other work. Oh, and be sure to check out his band Heavy Meta and Black Harvest, amazing stuff. And in human form. He's also in that band too, dude's busy. Super busy. <laughs> Joan Lopez Dominic, one of my favorites at the moment and super underrated. This illustrator from Valencia has an absolutely gorgeous style in both black and white and color. Color pieces of his are wild and vibrant, almost bordering a mysticism of like a children's book, but completely captivating a viewer in that metal world. It's hard to explain. Starting with his black and white pieces, they're especially gorgeous and highly detailed, fitting on both a black t-shirt and a white t-shirt. I love white metal t-shirts. It's one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. Seriously, the merch from this artist, he's gonna get snatched up and be super busy. We need to talk about this guy some more because he absolutely deserved it. I've checked out so many bands because of this man's artwork, including Nithgraf, Rua, Sojourner, Winter Eternal, and Ohava, just to name a few of the bands. He seems to work with some of the best established up and coming black metal type woodland adventure kind of bands. Definitely check him out. Some of the most beautiful pieces I've seen so far. Really great stuff. My final pick for album artist is the highly talented Kalen Stokerman. He is a well-established digital artist based out of Ohio. According to his website, his artistic mission is to create a unique piece using my style, vision, and experience as an artist. I constantly work to improve and push the boundaries of my art to bring you the best visual of your concept. Kalen is widely published. Oh, wait. Kalen is widely published in books like this, Masterpieces. He has a serious resume to boot for such a young fellow. This year alone, he has put out Abiotics Ikigai, an amazing album cover that stands alone in its own way. Hans Grossman's To Wear the Light Retreats, another very eye-catching piece. Interloper's Search Party and Notram's Forest of Eternal Dawn. I love this one. I'm a sucker for landscape art, especially if it's in the forest. This piece has a lot of movement, like you're exiting the forest into a clearing. Really, really great stuff. I highly suggest that you head on over to Kalen's website where you can check out the enormity of his work. He's got some brilliant pieces on there and he's got prints for sale, which is awesome. Great stuff to hang up in your gaming or music room and also 
be sure to check these books out if you love yourself some metal art. Amazing stuff, seriously. Love these books. What are some other metal album artists that you guys are loving right now? Let us know in the comments. We want to keep this series going. We're not going to stop here, so start a conversation. We'll probably cover them. That would be awesome to hear what your picks are. Hit that button down below, the like one that is, and if you haven't already, subscribe, please. As always, go with the gods, our Forge Master brethren. Stay creative. See you on the other side.